Well, anyway, it's uh, Saturday. I don't know, middle of January, almost middle of January, and uh, it's raining again. Probably I don't know, close to 40 degrees. So we uh, ended up. Well, we haven't cut a stick of wood yet, so it's not it's not. Um, we're off to a bad start this season, anyway. But uh, we ended up getting everything moved up there uh, this past week, and I got some footage uh, of that, and I'll and I'll put that in the video. And uh, right now I'm trying to work on this uh, this truck here to uh, get this fuel barrel on it and uh, and put this job box. I don't know. I got this job box here. Put that on it and uh, get this thing ready to to go because I'm gonna drive this back and forth this hour and a half one way or well, a little over an hour probably not quite an hour and a half and I'm not driving that uh that tool truck down there I'm not driving that thing back and forth that's to make for a long day drive two and a half hours in that and then log and so anyways I'm getting this fuel barrel on here and uh then I'm gonna put that job box on here I don't like having my saws get all snowy and stuff. And I definitely don't ride with them in the cab because the gas smell about kill you. I put them in a bag before, like a garbage bag, and if I gotta put them in my car, but I got a job box and uh we'll uh I'll be using that. But I just wanted to uh this is gonna be a short video. Pretty much just moving the skitter and then I got uh and then uh Rob moved his skitter over so I got some footage of the timberjack doing some plowing. I'll throw that in at the end. But uh, hopefully next week we're going to get the logging. It's supposed to get cold and uh, cut the landing and get going. So anyway. Well, here we are. It's, uh, it's moving day. It's raining, probably 40 degrees. Going to move this up to the uh, job that I uh, got about an hour from here. So I'll see you. Uh, see what footage we can get of the move. Finally glad to be leaving this place. Still got the truck and the loader here though. Have to wait till spring. But I'm glad I'm not cutting up in there anymore. It's just been, uh, it's like 40 degrees out and uh, it's raining. And uh, hopefully we don't get too much road salt on the skidder. I gotta move this rock because this is the road down to the landing so I gotta take my skitter and try to move this rock so we can get through here so I'll, uh, I'll try to shoot some video of that process
Well, anyway, this is the job. And uh, finally got my scooter down here. This part we're gonna cut for a landing. This is a patch cut up to, uh, well, the double yellow marks up there is all the uh, border of it. Doesn't, some of that doesn't look very good. <laughs> like uh, Some of that wood looks pretty crappy, right? But anyways, uh, this part right here is for the landing. And that thing's pretty ugly right there. Bunch of firewood. But uh, yeah, we got some decent stuff to cut on this job. Just probably not too much of it in this patch cut. You can see the, the boundaries, the double yellow there. This is all gonna be part of the landing, I guess. So that'll be an interesting job anyway. But yeah, they kind of keep you up on the flat. It's that maple. It should be a nice one. There's a spot up there that looks a little bit messed up, but anyway. So this is where we're gonna start. Won't be today. It's too warm, too wet. Hopefully we get some logging weather. Take a walk back up this road and look at the entrance and head on down the road. That I should make a few logs and mostly firewood. The trees are a lot taller and straighter here than they were in that other job. So anyways, this will probably be a uh, pretty short video, just about uh, moving over and uh, getting, getting ready to go. It's pretty warm out, it's probably 40, and uh, the snow is really wet. We can't start logging yet, but I wanted to get my machine up here so we start getting stuff froze in. And uh, didn't go very well, let's just put it that way. We got the machine and then we headed out and then we couldn't go on one road. They had it closed because somebody hit a telephone pole, took down the wires. So then we had to go a different way. Then we ended up coming up through on this winding road by the river and uh, the truck had to get over for a car that was coming and get the, the trailer off the road a little and blew every tire on, well, all three outside tires on the, on the trailer. So he was pissed and uh, then we get up here, we can't back up the hill, we can't, couldn't turn around. I mean, this is all stuff I guess I should have seen in the beginning, but I don't know. And then we got this issue. So this is a nice little parking area here and then that's the road down to the landing. But right here, this is the truck road out of here. And the trucker come up and he looked at it and he don't he doesn't he, he's pretty sure he can't make it with a tractor trailer and i should have known this because i've drove them before i had my own for a while but it's been a while i uh, truck and a pup will make it but uh yeah we've got this corner right here they should have made the road wider here and then straighter there dug that ditch further up and made the road straighter there see what i mean the road should go they should have gave us an extra 10 foot of road right here. Because now, I'm pretty sure if he tries to come in here with a trailer, the trailer will go off down in, down in there. And that's a, that's one place you don't want to end up with a trailer. I don't think there'll be any saving you. You take the whole truck and everything down there. I don't know about that, but yeah, you can get off down in there, you're in trouble. And you can't get the tractor over too, too far over here because you don't want to get the tractor off right here. So this road is turning out to be a, a dud. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. So anyways, this is off to a great start and uh, 
Hopefully next week it'll freeze up and we'll do a regular length logging video of some sort. Yeah, problem. Problem. 